possible by you. Too cool for school. <laughs> Now this is a really cool way to get around Vilnius. Things are opening up. So what are all the locks for? When people are getting married, they put the lock as a symbol for their wedding to last forever. So how many of them do you think lasted forever? Usual. Statistically, 50%. <laughs> so what do you know about Ujapus? It's a separate republic. It says Ujapus Republica. But it's really not a real republic. It's no, a fake it republic. Not. It is not. Usually there are artists, uh, people who don't want to follow traditional government rules. I want to be more free, like a hippie style. That's your business. We should go and see the angel. Let's go take a look. <laughs> wow, the Chevrolet van here. You gotta be kidding me. That thing gets about 10 miles per gallon. Next week, the outdoor bar is open and everybody's getting ready. And there's the Archangel of Oedipus. I don't think I ever want to take them. They are so freaking heavy. Oh, come on. Don't say that on the video. People you're, don't take it. You're ruining it. It's a workout. It is a freaking workout. Eating. Just think of all the weight you lost. Whew, I deserve some drink. I saw some wine. Let's do it. You gonna drink all that? Yes, we're off. So here's another bridge. We're leaving Uripus. Uripus. How do you say that? Uripus. Oh. We're heading to Turkey first to show you the castle. What happened? They don't give it to me. You still have a Nevada driver's license and you haven't updated into a Lithuanian driver's license. 
bad girl. Oh well. Did you? No. Oh, what a beautiful day. I think it's all because we didn't ride the scooter yesterday. We didn't fulfill our problem yet. Well, I know we could rent a scooter, but could we get the scooter all the way to Turkey? Do we want to? That's another question. Yeah. We have new news. We have an update. What's the update? We've been approved. Driver's license. The Nevada driver's license got approved. So we need to find a new car. Parking it. So, Aerosmith. Oh, can't listen to Aerosmith on YouTube. Since most of you don't realize where Vilnius is, let's take a look on the map. It's right here. And though I do like a world without borders, borders are a necessary evil. Lithuania is the southernmost Baltic state. And the Baltic states consist of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Most people don't realize a little bit of Russia is just south of Lithuania. And Russia could be considered the southernmost Baltic state. Now let's go take a look at Vilnius. We've been hanging around Cathedral Square and we're headed to Trike. Trike is about 30 kilometers from Vilnius and that's where we're headed today. Yeah, this is the first time I've been a passenger and you've been the driver. <laughs> I know I drove in New Zealand. Got you. We're off, finally. Makes me feel like I'm in Thailand. So what'd you get? I got the traditional food from this place, which is called Kibane. It's um, meat or curd inside, wrapped around with a dough. And it's delicious, I love it. So there's all my goodies, there's my backpack. It's about time I get to the airport because my plane leaves in an hour, no, two hours and 10 minutes. I'll check in, I'll give you a call.
We made it to the departure gate. that in New York tickets somehow the Vilnius Frankfurt flight is for today but Frankfurt Bangkok flight is for the 12th of April so I will have to contact Lufthansa and they should fix it I think it will be possible to fix it so they booked me for the 12th the ticket was not issued correctly I see the segments for the flights for today is everything fine but Oh, uh, the same ticket is not issued uh, uh, for, for normal ratio. It's something wrong. So, so take a seat, please. So my ticket was made wrong, and now I got one segment that's the 12th of April. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. To get to this point, there's a fair amount of paperwork. My original tickets on Lufthansa had me departing 11 days prior. But take a look at my reservations. Lufthansa booked my connecting flight the day before my departing flight. This was repaired, or so I thought, and I got my new flight schedule 11 days later. A few more days with Z was not a bad thing. Everything looked good on this schedule. I contacted the Thai Visa Center in Bangkok who prepared all the documentation for my retirement visa and my re-entry permit that I thought would come in handy when I wanted to return to Thailand. I will leave their contact below if you need any visa services for Thailand. They told me to contact the closest embassy, which in my case was Copenhagen. Within a day, I received this email with the proper steps to return to Thailand. The main document you need is a Certificate of Entry, or COE. And to get this document, you need COVID insurance, which is only provided by a few Thai companies, which cost me $250 for three months. You need to book an ASQ hotel for the proper amount of days. For me, it was 10 days at a cost of about $800. This included 10 nights in the hotel, two COVID tests, free breakfast, lunch, and dinner while I stayed at the hotel. I also had to prove I had a re-entry permit, and I received this before I left Thailand November 2020. And lastly, I needed to sign a document stating that I would follow all the Thai rules while in Thailand. After sending all the required information to the Thai Embassy in Copenhagen, I received the COE within just a few days. Woohoo! Last step was to get a PCR test within 72 hours of my first flight. Of Kate D39, thank you for your understanding. So, what they're doing over there is they're checking the paperwork. You have to have a certificate of entry, you have to have insurance, you also have to have what else was it that they have to, oh, the booking for the hotel. So all of that has to be done before you, well, before you can board actually in Lithuania. I had to show all of that. But um, here they check it again before you get on the aircraft to Bangkok because they don't want to have to haul you back. Anyways, I'm all done with it. I was the first one. not too much different than it was before just you have to wear a mask and have to show a little bit more paperwork but one of the cool things is this is a 777 777 and it carries a lot of people and I don't see very many people here That tells me there's going to be a lot of empty seats and it'll be a comfortable flight because I've heard some bad things about the Swiss 777s. The flight attendant said there was 200 empty seats in economy class and that in the back right here um, should have all four seats. All to myself. So I'll be able to sleep. So this will be good. 
Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I set up my bed. And I'm just gonna drop and go to sleep as soon as this airplane takes off. So I'll see you in Bangkok. So we made it. We're here in Bangkok. No problems. It was a great flight because I got to sleep or lay down almost all the way. Very few people in the back. Good flight. So I think I was the last one off the airplane. I liked it so much. It is eerily quiet here and you can see there's not very many people. Lots of chairs though. Not sure what they're for. But uh, anyways, let's go find out what happens. So I think I'm waiting for my my little test. We'll see. Oh, they're checking all our paperwork too. So they even help you fill out the paperwork. SQ number. SQ number is for just to identify yourself as an SQ, but the number is a no need to know. Yes. So that means like what hotel I'm gonna go to. Yes. So it'll tell the people where I need to go to get my hotel yes, bus true. and everything. To separate from the state quarantine as an SQ. Yes. That is one. Okay. okay. Over there, but they will bring the new one for you. Just a moment. Thank you. Cup. After they check your health and all your paperwork. Then everything's done. Then I think we're gonna go pick up our luggage sometime soon, I hope. Well, that was actually pretty quick. Five o'clock. Now I think we're heading to our luggage. We made it. We got our luggage. I'm so glad it got here because it was worth a lot of money. Hello. Hello. So where's the bazaar hotel? <laughs> I'm finally back in Thailand. Hello. In a few minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. The paperwork's done. Immigration. Got our luggage. I'm so glad all the parts got here. That would have been expensive if we had lost that piece of luggage. Bangkok airport is just a bit different than it used to be. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Uh, the bus, right? Mr. Kenneth Powers? Okay. That would be me. That's moment about five minutes. Somebody else coming too? Yeah. Okay, cool. And away we go. It's a little warm here. Hello. This way? Okay. No problem. And, and, and me is your driver. <laughs> okay. Car. And that silver car. Please, okay. Please wait here a minute. I'll wait. Made it. Here's my car. I'm my driver. Yeah, I'm your driver. You take care of me. Yeah. Make sure I'm safe. Yeah, take care you to your hotel. Bazaar Hotel. Bazaar Hotel. So here I go. Let me take you some photo. Okay.
see what my new home is gonna look like for the next 10 days. I gotta put on the booties. There? Okay. So I got the vegetarian. So we get a little bit of fruit. And rice and vegetables. So you gotta take your temperature a couple times a day and send your temperature to the nurse on board. Well, not on board, but at the hotel. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, so um, 36.4 this morning. I think that's just about normal. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those. They said they came from Spanish. Oh. Oh, no.